so um, a fun little place. And they like to do a lot of, like their dishes are handmade and have a lot of local stuff, so. I thought that was your dad. Sounded like him. <laughs> do you mind? No. Since I'm doing them for a restaurant here, I've got to make sure they're all exactly the same. Sure, color. of course. They they really prefer the color to be kind of different and mm -hmm. just whatever. Of course. But size wise, they want them mm -hmm. just so. Sure. Understandably. Mm hmm. How long have you been doing this? About 15 years. Wow. Now the other man was there 17 years at the Cheese Cave. Um, I think he was. I oh, was he goofing he around? Said, he was goofing around. Oh, okay. He, he was 17. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that he meant he that he had been he there. I thought <laughs> that he actually meant he'd been there 17 years, but oh. he was calling himself that age because that's how long he'd oh, worked I there. Oh, I see. I don't know. I don't, oh, is this I don't know that he's how been my there brain. Years, but okay. I'm not sure. Wow. I don't think we've had the cheese. And there it is. And what are you working on there? Some on class we had on Saturday. Oh. I'm just smoothing out the bottom and writing people's names on them. Oh, okay. These were from a class right here? Yes, yeah. Are they for um, pot, like plants? Are you? They could be. Oh, they're whatever you just, okay. So if they were for a plant, you would probably drill a hole in the bottom, right? Yeah. And make a base to go under it? Nice. Those are kind of, we start our students with just a real foundational oh. piece. We start out with a cylinder. That way they can start learning how to center their clay and pull the walls. And sure. then from yeah. there they can kind of branch out and make more, mm -hmm. um, more shaping. Do you, what do you think is harder, making a coil pot built with the like ropes and, and building up or doing it on a wheel? As far as learning, it is a little tricky to learn to throw on the wheel. Mm -hmm. um, I teach a lot of classes and it is, for a lot of people, it is a bit challenging. But there is also the sense of, I've had many, many people that really enjoy doing the wheel because it's yeah. a very fast pace. You yeah. can, it's a lot of fun, even it though it's kind of hard at the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's very enjoyable. It so, is. Um, on the flip side of that, I've also had people who prefer hand building, especially um, some people if they have had problems with their hands or somehow mm -hmm. it was more painful for them to work with the wheel because of the pressure you have to apply, mm -hmm. then they have really enjoyed hand building. So I think really both of them well, are a very <clears throat> useful skill to have. Yeah. Just kind of two different techniques. I, I found trying to build with the uh, like the ropes of mm -hmm. clay, it's difficult to seal it properly for yeah. firing. Mm -hmm. That you have to make sure there are no air pockets mm -hmm. and no gaps. And yes, uh, I, I found that to be a challenge. You know? I will say with hand building, my favorite is probably using slabs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done that oils, too. Because you can make really nice yeah. things. I've even had kids who weren't really strong enough and their skill wasn't really to the place mm -hmm. where they could make something big on the wheel. Mm -hmm. But using slabs, they can make something that's really quite a bit nicer mm -hmm. than they could on the wheel at that point. Sure. And so they've really enjoyed it. Yeah. She taught a class to our kids and a bunch of other young kids where they made bolts. They did. They mm -hmm. rolled a slab and put it over it was another, like a, bowl. another mm -hmm. bowl. Yeah. And then they, they did a little ripple edge, you know, like you do yeah. for a pie crust yes. or something. Yes. It was really neat. It turned out very pretty. Well, thank you so much for letting me... Uh